Hello everyone, I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to dimension faster by an excellent tip which is adding a decal to your CAD model. Now a decal is basically like a little sticker that goes on the face of your CAD model and you can just zoom into this decal to see references. So this decal can literally be any picture and the picture that we're going to choose today is a screenshot of your print or a screenshot of somewhere that has a lot of references so you don't have to flip back and forth between your print and your CAD model. Uh, here, uh, I gave you away the answer right away because I know your time is important and now I'm going to dive into some of the details and I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, you don't have to reference the McMaster website like for instance in this video I'm going to make something very simple I'm going to make this table and you won't have to come back to, to the McMaster website to reference the dimensions because it's all going to be in the CAD model and the decal is also going to show you materials, tolerances, part number, etc. Therefore, you're not going to have to manually input these materials, tolerances, and extra information into the CAD model. You just got to paste the decal. It's very easy. So here we go. We're going to go to McMaster. We want to make, uh, say, an item. You have something that you want to make. The first thing you want to do is you want to get the biggest dimensions, just to get an idea. And that's where you're going to paste your decal. So this is what? Um, 24 by 18 seems like it's this top surface so that's what I'm gonna do the first thing go to SolidWorks and feel free to speed up the video if you like that's usually what I do when I watch YouTube videos to 1.5 speed and what was it say so look I already have the references again uh, with 24 depth 18 I don't even know the extrusion. I'm just gonna make it, I don't know, one inch or something. Great. So now I have the surface as to where I want to put my decal, and the surface shouldn't change. So uh, to get the decal, it's really just a screenshot, and this could be a print or anything that you need to reference often. So I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm going to go to decals under appearances. I'll choose this one because it doesn't have a transparent background. Drag it on there. We'll go to browse. And let's see. There's our screenshot. Now we can remove the screenshot later or we can leave it there. Decal, excuse me. We can remove the decal later or leave it as it is. I like to leave it because the person who I send this file to is going to have a reference of a lot more details. Uh, like what the color is, uh, the material, tolerances, etc. Instead of me having to type all this information into the CAD model somewhere in here into the notes, it's all there for the person. And CAD is all about communication. So we want to communicate with the person that's going to be receiving the file. So check out how cool this is. Let's make some of the legs. So there we go, we got our sketch for the four legs and this extrusion, we're going to start it at a surface, not the sketch plane, but the surface, the surface. I don't know, let's do 10 inches. Now this is a key part. You want to do some dimensions, kind of like guess it, don't even reference uh, like that. So you have that. Now you come up here 
and you see okay what was the height 18 all right but that's actually from here though so let me change that from the sketch plane good and now we're gonna make that 18 Now this pro having this decal is very useful because now I don't have to go to the McMaster website to reference all these different information. It's all nice and organized here. Now I can just save my file and send it to whoever needs to see it next and the communication is going to be excellent. Hello everyone, for tip number two I'm going to show you how to make a dummy model for an Arduino circuit board on CAD. So as you may know, an Arduino has many different components and if you were to download an Arduino CAD file it will make your model really slow but at the same time you need to know where all the different components are as you're creating your mechanical design you need to know where the reset switch is where the digital pins are and that will determine where you place everything else around it but if you don't want to download the CAD model for the Arduino this is a solution and I'm gonna give you the answer right away because I know your time is valuable and then I'm gonna explain it what you have to do is you're going to make a decal out of your Arduino. A decal is simply a screenshot or like a, an image of the Arduino and then you upload that to your CAD model and I'm going to show you how. So first of all, <clears throat> you need to take a screenshot of your Arduino, make a picture of it. There it is. This is simply a TI-83 calculator and I took a photo of the Arduino inside of it. Then you save that image, you go to CAD you model up whatever you need to model so here's a, a little file of a calculator that I did real quick and on the inside we have the Arduino look how cool that is and the Arduino if you zoom in it's just a decal which means a a photo I pasted a photo on this face and I'm gonna show you how I did it <clears throat> so first let's delete this Arduino um, decal it's going to be under appearances <clears throat> so this is what it looked like I'm going to hide this body <clears throat> alright here we go we're going to go to appearances And we want to go to decals, open decal library. Uh, I want to. I like choosing this one uh, because it doesn't have a transparent background. We don't want a transparent background for our Arduino, at least in this scenario. You drag it on. Let's give it a shot again. Sometimes you gotta play around with SolidWorks. And I'm no different than everybody else. There we go. So you paste. This is the exact process. Okay, you drag this one, you drop it. Now you're gonna browse for your Arduino screenshot file. Here it is. We gotta turn it around. There we go. <clears throat> so we have the decal and that serves as a reference now this is very useful because now you can begin modeling and you know where the different Arduino components are at least you will have a reference and this makes your file, your CAD file a whole lot lighter and easier to open and is a lot more uh, less processing power required for your computer so let, let's give you an example of how this can be useful I need to make some gripper pins. What's a gripper pin, you may ask? Well, let me show you. A gripper pin is used for injection molding, and they're like little pins that stick out. I'm sure if you open anything up, you've seen these for injection molding. And they have interface, which once you close both, both halves, it comes uh, together, and it's very hard to bring apart. And that's how I think calculators are made. How do I know about the gripper pins? Because I know about injection molding. And how do I know about injection molding? 
because I went to this website, mypipelineacademy.com. We're going to put that in the bottom in the description of this video. And here we got a lot of free lessons about how to be a better mechanical designer. You come down to this table, joining processes, and this is where it tells you about grip pins. All these different subjects, plastic injection molding, die casting, 3D printing, all these free lessons, they're accessible to you guys. So if you're liking so far what you've seen, please like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate, uh, we, we're trying to increase our following. So for these grip pins, coming back to the CAD model, I'm gonna make some grip pin references. Real quick, they're going right there. You can see that from the, well, it looks like they go there. So let's use this as an example. So the grip pins will go there. And feel free to change the speed of the video if I'm going a little too slow. Change it to one and a half speed. That's what I do usually when I watch YouTube videos. Let's do it real fast. We don't have the dimension. So now you have an example as to how you can use your Arduino. I know that somewhere around here, I'm going to have my gripper pins. And let's unhide the other part of the body. Boom. 